Hi everybody, it is April and I am in my craft room and today we are going to cover a pillow. Oliver is here to help show you how cozy this pillow is. But Oliver's about to get up and move so that I can share even more with you, like, you know, what it looks like. Come here, Oliver, and he's going to not be too happy about that. This is a panel by Three Wishes. And it's a long, skinny panel, but just as cute as it can be. And instead of putting it in a quilt, I thought, how cute would that be for a cover for a pillow? I, it just seemed like something fun to do. So that's what I did. I bought a body pillow, which is about the size of this panel. And I added some coordinating fabric, as you can see. I've got the feathers or fur flying. It's part of the Party Animal Collection by Three Wishes. And the only coordinating fabrics that I purchased with that panel were the koala bears and this fur fabric. So that's what I used. And now I have this cute pillow that will look great on my granddaughter's bed. So I thought, you know what, this would be a cute gift idea in case you're looking for something or you have some leftover fabric from your latest project. Uh, guess what? I've got some leftover fabric. Hold please. So I left a question out for you all about what you would like to see this become. And I said pillowcase or decorative pillow. And I believe decorative pillow won. Although pillowcase came in at a close second and there was a nice idea that I could, after the holidays, fold up my quilt and put it in a pillowcase. But I think I can put it in a decorative pillow as well, as long as I just make this a cover for a regular bed pillow. So that is the plan. How do you do this, you say? This is how I'm going to do it. Here I have a regular bed pillow, and here I have my front. So now I need to figure out how to make my back, and I wanna make it with a sleeve, like this pillow has a sleeve. So if one day I decide I want to take this pillow out of this case, I can do it. So first I'm going to measure this decorative piece that's going on the front. And then I've got, he's so helpful, a piece of the fabric that I used to make the border and the in-between strips of my quilt that was made with this fabric. So I am just going to cut 20 inches of this from selvage to selvage and use it for the pillow. Here I have the back of my pillowcase. So now I'm gonna do what Dee told me to do. I'm gonna measure. And this is 43 and a half. Very interesting. So half of 43 and a half is 20, I'm cutting it at 21 close enough. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run an iron over this and press it. Since we want a finished edge on either side of our envelope opening, I am going to hem one side of each of these fabric pieces that are going to make up the back of my pillow. I'll be right back. Now each side has a finished edge so that it won't fray. Now let's, uh, I don't have to flip it over. So I want to put right sides together. And I want this edge to be the edge that goes towards the middle of the pillow. So I'm gonna line it up. And again, I want this edge to go towards the middle of the pillow. They're all lined up. 
Now I'm going to clip, especially where my edges meet that are not the same length, decorative pillow cover. So I'll put my little clips on, on both sides. I'm going to sew straight down the side, straight down the other side, and then up either side. I don't have to worry about leaving an opening because I've already got one. Be right back. And there I have sewn all the way around. I am going to clip the corners to make it easier to turn this out. This is not a heavy duty project, so the corners are pretty easy. I did use a half an inch stitch width, and I will show you why momentarily. Make sure you don't clip that corner where your seams met because that would not be good. We're gonna turn this inside. No, we're gonna turn this right side out. You have a beautiful pillow cover on the back. It's got a little pillow sliver sleeve thingy. Let me go disturb Oliver. Now this pillow cover is quite a bit longer than my pillow, but this is a small pillow. So I made it just a little bit bigger for another pillow that I may want to use. And then I do want to make two of these to go with my quilt that will be quilted for next Christmas with any luck. All right, so, so that's a little big, but that's all right. And it is complete. Now let me show you why you want to use a half inch seam. You all know I'm all about full disclosure. And I would have fixed this, but it's hard to get this pillow in this. And I'll show you that too. Okay, so because I didn't use a half inch seam, I kind of didn't quite pull that all the way in. No big deal. I can take this out. But this pillow is not slick and it's not easy to just pull out. It's this fuzzy stuff. So it's gonna be a sheer nightmare to get it out. And you know, I'm just not up for that challenge right now. I'll do it later. <laughs> Maybe, I may just take a needle and thread and sew that and you will never know. Half inch seam, trust me, you will think it's well worth it if you have a fuzzy body pillow that you're trying to cover. Have a great day, eat some chocolate, and be kind to everyone. Until next time, bye. Mom's homemade fudge. So good. One more time. Mm-hmm. First, I have to move a cat because of the way I wanted my fabric to... Mm -mm. Fortunately, I am a Maybe not. And I have a cat. Who, of course, is right there.